Greeting and saying goodbye. Dialogue 1 Hi, Bob. How are you going? Not good. I failed in the exam. Really? Yes, the English exam. You didn't work hard this term, right? Yes, I play computer games very often. Do you have the chance to take the exam one more time? I think I have. I'll call my teacher and ask him about that. Okay, study by your heart. You are a clever boy, I think. Thanks. I need a lot of exercises. Wish you pass. Bye. Bye. Dialogue 2 Hi, Judy. How are you? Hi, Lucy. I'm fine. And you? Fine, thanks. Why are you here? I want to buy a gift for my father's birthday. Have you decided what to buy for him? Not yet. A watch is cool, I think. I think so, but I don't have so much money. Right. What about a book? Good idea. I'll find a book that I can afford. Okay, I gotta go. See you. See you later. Introducing to each other. Dialogue 1. Hi, Bridget. How are you? Hi, Lena. I'm fine, thanks. I don't think you have met my friend Su Hua yet. She is from China. Let me introduce you to each other. Lena, this is Su Hua. Su Hua, this is Lena. Hi, I am Lena. Nice to meet you. Hi, Lena. I am Su Hua. Nice to meet you. I have been to China before. It is pretty awesome. I am crazy about Chinese cuisine. Yeah, it is a huge country. Both Bridget and I were volunteers of Olympics, and after that we became good friends. That's cool. Check this out. Ni hao, wo shi lina. That's amazing. Thanks. I got to hang out with my friends now. I think I see them over there. Dialogue 2 Hi, Li Hua. How are you? Fine, thanks. It's difficult to see you in the park, uh-huh. Well, my sister came to my house. I have to take care of her. Your sister? Is she here? Yes, Li Mei. Come here, please. This is my best friend, Mary. Hello, Mary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How old are you? I'm two years younger than my sister. I'm 16. So, you came here to your sister's house for a holiday? Yes, it's a very long holiday. Okay, I have to go. Bye, Li Hua and Li Mei. Inviting Others Dialogue 1 I'd like to take you for dinner. It's my treat. Great, thank you. What do you feel like? How about Chinese food? Great. When is it convenient for you? Any weekend will do. How about this coming Sunday evening? Sounds fantastic. Will you pick me up at my house? No problem. Is seven on the nose all right? That will be fine. See you then. See you then. Dialogue 2 How about going out for a bite? I better not. Oh, come on. Let's go. Well, I guess I'll stay home. I still have work to do. I need to finish my report before Monday. Where are you now? Just started. But you can catch up at the weekend. I know this restaurant serves nice beef and the service is good too. Okay, I'll go. I need to take a break anyway. I'll get my coat. Arranging an appointment. Dialogue 1. 
Hello, Peter. This is John. I'm calling to see if you would like to have lunch tomorrow. Hello, John. I'm sorry, but tomorrow isn't very convenient for me. Oh, I see. Perhaps we can make it later. What about the day after tomorrow? That would be better. Is 12 o'clock okay for you? Perfect. So where are we going? What about the restaurant around the corner? The pie there is impressive. It sounds lovely. Where shall we meet? I think we could meet at the door. Got it. Twelve at the door, right? Exactly. Dialogue 2 Are you free tomorrow evening? Yes, I am free. What's up? We're going to throw a birthday party, and I wonder if you could come. Great. I'd like to come. What time does the birthday party start? People should be coming around 6 p.m. When does the party end? Around 1 a.m. in the morning. That sounds good. Where do you live? 2537 East 32nd Avenue. Okay. I'll call you if I get lost. And by the way, can I bring anything? Sure, no problem. Well, would you like to bring a pie or cake? Sure. I can make an apple pie. It's my specialty. Apology and Responses Dialogue 1 Excuse me. I think I booked a room with a nice view to the beach. But the room I stay is facing a wall. May I know your name? I am Mr. Chen. Hold on a second. I am checking the reservation. I have your reservation of a room with a fine view of the beach. I think it is undoubtedly our fault. Please accept my apologies. I accept your apology. Is there any room in which I can enjoy the eyesight of the beach? I am afraid that all the rooms with a view to the beach have been booked. That is really disappointing. I am sorry about that. It doesn't matter. Dialogue 2 I apologize for stamping on your foot. I didn't do it on purpose. It is really crowded here. I beg your pardon. You didn't hurt me at all. Don't worry about it. Please don't be angry about my foolish behavior. I can't believe that I smeared your white shoes. Here is some paper handkerchief. Here you go. Thank you. Where are you going? Dong Den. Sorry, I didn't catch you. Will you please kindly repeat it? Sure. Dong Den. I got it. I am getting off one stop ahead. Nice talking to you. Me too. Thankfulness and Responses Dialogue 1 You look very nice today, Mary. Thank you. Is that a new dress? It is very pretty. Yes, I just got it the other day when shopping with my mom. Light blue suits you very well. It matches your eyes. Thanks. I like it very much. I am thinking about buying a pair of sandals to go with it. What color do you think will go well? Maybe white will look very good. Thank you for your suggestion. Not at all. Are you interested in shopping with me on Saturday? Thanks for inviting me. I'd love to. You are welcome. Dialogue 2 John, I have read your article. I think it is pretty good. Thank you. But I suggest that you change the title into a more interesting one. A better title will attract readers' attention and provoke their interests. Thanks for your comments and directions. I will work on it. What do you think will be better? What about how to stay healthy without pills? It sounds great. Thank you for your help. The pleasure is mine. I am sure you will become a distinguished writer with your masterpieces.
Congratulating others. Dialogue 1 John told me you were promoted to be the manager of advertisement department. Yes, I got the notice last week. Congratulations on your promotion. Now all the efforts pay off. Thank you very much. I knew you would come out successfully someday. You have that ability of leadership in you. Oh, you flatter me. It is very kind of you. You are welcome. Actually, there are many new responsibilities on my shoulders now. I'm just learning the rope. Your comments and directions are welcome. Don't be so courteous. Dialogue 2 Congratulations on the birth of your child. Thank you. It's a boy. You must be excited now. Of course. It has been my dream for years. Does he have a name? They named him Robert. I named my baby Small Potato. Good name for a boy. And you seemed to pick up quickly. Yes, he's natural labor. Holiday Wishes Dialogue 1 Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Please convey my best wishes to your parents. Thank you, the same. Are you doing anything special? I'm going to a party tomorrow night. Want to come? Great. I'd like to come. Thank you for inviting me. When will the party start? You are welcome. Around 6 o'clock. See you then. See you then. Dialogue 2 Happy Spring Festival. Happy Spring Festival. It is a traditional Chinese holiday, right? What do you always do on spring festivals? We spend the holiday with family traditionally. But since I am in America now, I will celebrate it with some friends. We are going to make some dumplings. Would you like to come? Great. I love dumplings. Sure, I will be there. And it will be great if you dress in red. It is the propitious color in China. Really? I never know that. Thank you for telling me. I wish you all the best. Thank you. I wish you the very best of luck. Asking for help. Dialogue 1. Excuse me. I have a favor to ask you. Sure. What is it? I am wondering if there is any good restaurant around. Oh, yes. There is a noodle shop. Could you show me the way to it? Go down to the corner and turn right. Go straight ahead until you come to a traffic light. Turn left there. It's the second or third house on your right. It is easy to find. You can't miss it. Thank you for your help. You have done me a great favor. No bother. And the seafood noodle there is amazing. You should give it a shot. Thank you for your recommendation. I will try. Dialogue 2 May I ask you a favor? Tell me what you need. May I borrow your car tomorrow? Sorry, I can't. My car is broken and under repair. Sorry that I can't help. It's okay. I will ask others. You could take a chance with John. He has a car too. He might be willing to lend. Thank you. I will call him later. Sorry. Tell me if there is anything I can do for you. I will. Thank you. Agreement and Disagreement Dialogue 1 Good morning, Miss Wong. Good morning, Mr. Gates. What a fine day. Why don't we go to the cinema? That's a good idea, but I have something important to do right now. Oh, what a pity. What about tomorrow? There will be a new film on show. Harry Potter 6? Yes, it is. What do you think of it? 
I'm looking forward to see it. It's very worthwhile to see. You are right, but when and where shall we meet? What about eight tomorrow morning at the Capitol Cinema? Okay, see you tomorrow. See you. Dialogue two. B. Do you have time tonight? Yes, of course. Look, C has invited me to his birthday party. Do you want to go with me? I'd love to. I think we should bring him a gift. I can't agree with you any more. What do you think? What does he like? What about a bottle of wine? Maybe not. He doesn't drink. How about a DVD version of Slumdog Millionaire? That's his favorite movie. Sounds awesome. Let's go to the DVD store now. Sure. Suggestions and opinions. Dialogue one. You're from New York, aren't you? Yes, that's right. What do you suggest I should see in New York? Well, how about the Museum of Modern Art? No, I don't like museums. They are boring. Why don't you go to see the Empire State Building? Ah, that sounds interesting. Dialogue two. You are not looking happy. What's the matter? Oh, nothing special. I'm just a bit tired. With the job? With everything, with everybody, with all this. A good suggestion for you. You need a holiday. It wasn't always like this, you know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we always do the same thing. There's no variety in our lives. You need a holiday. That's what the matter is. Certainly, perhaps. Ordering takeaway. Dialogue one. Wang Lei, where are you going to have dinner? I haven't decided yet. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Would you like to join me? I fancy an Indian takeaway. Is there any Indian restaurant around here? There's an Indian takeaway round the corner. Do you know their telephone number? Yes, I placed an order over the phone yesterday. Let me look it up. Oh, it's here. Thank you. How do you like it? The food is delicious. Well, I will phone them up now. Dialogue two. Hello, is that Chinese takeaway restaurant? Yes. Would you like to have an order, sir? Uh, do you have fried rice? Yes, they have yang chow fried rice, chicken fried rice, fried rice with scallop. Now, it's said that the shrimp fried rice is really delicious. Please give me one share. Sorry, there is no shrimp fried rice now. What about chicken fried rice? That will also do. Do you like some soup? No thanks. I'm on the third floor in room three seven seven in Empire State Building. Okay, it will be delivered in twenty minutes. Reserving a table. Dialogue one. Good morning. What can I do for you? Good morning. Could you make a reservation for me? Sure. How many people are there? Three. Yes. Where would you prefer to sit? I prefer a table by the window. Which areas do you like, smoking or non-smoking? A non-smoking seat, please. One minute, please. Let me check. Okay. When shall you be here? Around seven o'clock. Okay. We are looking forward to seeing you. Dialogue two. May I help you? I'd like to make a reservation. How many people? Only two. Would you like a table in the main restaurant or in a private room, sir? I'd like in the hall. 
Just a moment. I'll check our reservation list. Please seat us as far as possible from the smoking section. Are there any good seats left? Do you mind taking the seat by the aisle? I don't care. Okay, I've already reserved for you. Ordering dishes. Dialogue one. Are you ready to order, sir? Yes. Have you a menu, please? Here you are. What kind of food do you prefer, Chinese or American? A Chinese food, please. What's your favorite? We have Sichuan food, Guangdong food, and Shanghai food. I am unfamiliar with the Chinese cuisines. Could you please explain to us? Guangdong food is a bit light, while Beijing food is heavy and spicy. Sichuan food has a strong and hot taste, and Shanghai food is oily. I'd like to eat something light. Guangdong food, please. Okay. Here is the menu. I'll take some specialties of the house. Dialogue two. That'll be all for now. Let me check your order: the seasoned vegetable in oyster sauce, the mustard greens with scallop, the fried string beans, and the shark's fin soup. Not the shark's fin soup, but the mushroom soup. I'm sorry, I mix up the order. Can I have it right away? About ten minutes. I would recommend an appetizer with two or three small dishes. Which the hors d'oeuvre do you serve? It is seasonal vegetables. Give me some green salad. Would you like something else to drink? No thanks. Ordering drinks. Dialogue one. Would you like something to drink? May I order a glass of tea? We serve oolong tea, black tea, green tea, jasmine tea, and chrysanthemum tea. Which one do you like better? I glutted myself with rich food. I'm under the weather. Please have a cup of Dragonwell green tea. Maybe you'll be more comfortable. Do you have paper napkin? Yes, I'll bring you some at once. And would you mind if I smoke here? No, there is an ashtray on the shelf. Thank you. Dialogue two. What would you like for a drink? May I see the drinking list? Would you like to drink tea? I don't feel like drinking tea this morning. Shall I choose some other drinks? Some coffee. Coffee would be fine. How do you drink your coffee, black or white? I take it with cream and sugar. Would you like some ice in it? I prefer it straight up. Serving the dishes. Dialogue one. Coming. This dish is yours, sir. Where shall I put it? Put it here. The cold dishes are all here. When shall we bring the hot dishes on? Dished up them now, please. Would you go and get me a glass of water? Sure. Do you need anything else? Please give me more rice. Spring roll is our specialty today. Please have a try. Well, two, please. Thank you. I'm always at your service. If you would like any additional dishes, please call me. Dialogue two. Excuse me, your green beans, sir. Please put it on the table. And your egg drop soup and shrimp fried rice. Uh, wait. Egg drop soup is not on the menu. Just wait a second, please. Let me have a look at your order. The egg drop soup has been taken off the menu just now. Oh yes, I'm sorry. We'll cross it off the bill. I'd like a glass of orange juice, please. With or without ice, sir. Ice, please. Service at the table. 
Dialogue 1. Jack, is there any coffee in the coffee pot? I'm afraid not. Wait, please. Yes, there are some, but there's no cream. You'll have to content yourself with black coffee. We might as well call the waiter, bring some here. Hi, waiter, could you please come over here? Sure, what can I do for you? Give us a little more cream, please. All right, anything to drink, sir? I'd like something cool. I'm going to need some ice water. I'll bring you at once. More napkins, please. Fine. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir. Would you have some more soup? No, there's too much salt in this dish. Could I have a glass of water? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It's a little bit salty, but I like it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. If you want further help, let me know. Please bring me a spoon. The child is still awkward with the fork. All right. Please sit the baby in the chair. Oh, thank you very much. Are you ready for your dessert now? Yes. Please serve us as quickly as you can. Giving Assessment Dialogue 1 We are taking the last order for food. Will there be anything else? I need more salad, please. Fine. Is everything to your satisfaction? Yes, the roast Beijing duck is very delicious, tender, and crisp. The roast Beijing duck is a Beijing specialty. I'm glad you like it. It's delicious. What about the others? I think maple bean curd and shredded meat in chili sauce are quite special. I'm glad to hear that. If you want any help, just ask me. Okay. Dialogue 2 I've finished. How do you like the sweet and sour fish? Good, but I like the Chinese noodles best. Noodles with soybean paste is our local special. What's the meaning of noodle in China? Noodle symbolizes longevity in China, and it has the meaning you'll live a very happy life together. Would you like some more? No, thanks. I really have enough. It is a very enjoyable dinner. I'm glad you have a good appetite. Arranging a Banquet Dialogue 1 Good afternoon, Lily Catering Company. May I help you? Good afternoon. This is Mike Lee over at ABC Company. We need to arrange a banquet for next Tuesday. I see, Mr. Lee. How many people are you planning to invite, and how much would you like to spend per person? Well, we're expecting about 55 people, and we'd like to spend no more than $15 a head. When will the dinner start? At 7 in the evening. Is this an ultra-formal party? Yes, please prepare it carefully. Don't worry about it. We'll make it to your entire satisfaction. Thank you in advance. Dialogue 2 We're going to have a wedding party in your hotel. Can you arrange it for us, miss? Sure. We're glad that you choose our hotel to hold a wedding party. Which restaurant would you like? Chinese style, of course. When will you hold the party? On May 1st. How many tables would you like to reserve? 37. How much would you like to spend for each table? 1,000 to 2,000 yuan. And would you play some good pop music at the party? Of course. I wish you a happy wedding. At the cafe. Dialogue 1 Is your coffee shop open now? Yes, 
Will you have a coffee? I don't care if I do. Which kind of coffee do you like? Do you take black or white coffee? White, please. Okay. You could have a table over there by the window. There's a nice view. Do you mind my smoking? I'm terribly sorry, but smoking is not allowed here. It doesn't matter. Could you please tell me where the smoking room is? That room is put apart for smoking, and you can go there. Dialogue 2 Welcome to the coffee shop. What can I do for you? Two coffees, please. Do you want some sugar and cream? No, black coffee, please. All right. Is there anything I can do for you? Is there any refreshment? There are many snacks for free over there, and they are so delicious. Oh, that's great. Sit anywhere you like, please. Okay. At the breakfast shop. Dialogue 1. Nice morning, isn't it? Can I get a seat anyway? Please come in and sit where you like. Would you like an American breakfast or a continental breakfast? Two American breakfasts with fried eggs, sunny side up, ham, rolls. Certainly, sir. But which kind of drink do you want? An orange juice and a white coffee. Okay, about five minutes. By the way, do you have any newspaper? We have a newspaper rack over there and a number of newspapers and magazines on this desk. All right. Dialogue 2 Good morning. May I help you? What kinds of porridge do you serve? We serve the beef slices porridge, the fresh fish porridge, and the preserved egg porridge, to name only a few. Two bowls of preserved egg porridge. Can I get a seat anyway? Sorry, sir. All the tables are taken. Would you mind waiting until one is free? How long do we have to wait? We can seat you in five minutes. Okay. At the fast food shop. Dialogue 1. Good afternoon. May I help you? I'll have a small hamburger, milk, and one large order of french fries. Will that be for here or to go? I'll eat here. With ketchup or mayonnaise? With ketchup, please. How would you like to settle your account? I will pay money down. Please keep the change. Where is the smoking room? It's just around the corner, beside the washroom. Thank you. Dialogue 2 It's our turn. Give me a cheeseburger, large fries, and a loaf of sliced bread. Which would you like for bread? White or whole wheat? Whole wheat, please. Fine. What about you, miss? I want a Big Mac, a small order of French fries, and a medium Coke. Will you be eating here, or is this to go? To go. Will you make out separate bills? I'll pick up the tab. It's my treat. Here is your change. Hope to see you again. Paying the bill. Dialogue 1. Waiter, I'd like to settle my bill, please. Okay, I'll be with you right away. Can I charge it on my Visa card? Oh yes, by all means. Please pay the bill at the cashier's desk. What does this amount to? 517 yuan. May I have the bill, please? Here you are. Do you want one bill or separate bill? It's my treat. One bill, please. All right. Dialogue 2 Could I have the bill, please? Okay. 
Is everything to your satisfaction? Yes. Do I pay you or the cashier? Both are okay. You may choose. I'd like to go over the bill myself. Here it is. Will this be cash or charge? I'll pay in cash. Is this all on one bill? Yes. Could you check it? Okay. Do you have the receipt? Yes. Have you got some change? No, I don't have small change. Sorry, I can't break that. Keep the change. In the supermarket. Dialogue one. Excuse me. Where is the fruit and vegetable section? Go all the way to the back and turn right. Thank you. I'd like some bananas. Okay. Anything else? Give me a pound of tomatoes and a pound of eggplants. Here you are. Thanks. Where is the cashier? Go straight and turn left. Thanks. Will they take credit card? I think so. Dialogue two. We have to buy a lot of things today. Yes. How about we divide the list and meet here in twenty minutes? That's a good idea. You get the milk, beef, eggs, apples, and honey. I can get the tomatoes, peas, coffee, lettuce, and bananas. Okay, but where is milk? It's over there in the dairy section. Good. You got everything? I think so. Let's go to the cashier in the front. Sure. In the flea market. Dialogue one. Does this TV work well? Yes, it's almost new. Is it a color TV or a black and white one? Color. You know people prefer the LED now, so they have no room for this kind. What do you charge for it? Five hundred yuan. Can I have it for four hundred? Four hundred fifty. The last offer. Okay. Deal. Dialogue two. Can I help you, sir? Yes, but may I have a look first? You have so many antiques and Chinese paintings here. Are they genuine? All our reproductions are clearly marked and priced. They are sold at a fair price. May I see that ivory horse? Sure, it's genuine. I bet it's made of genuine ivory. Besides, it's of exquisite workmanship. How much is it? The price is marked two hundred yuan. I'll take it. In the jewelry store. Dialogue one. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I'd like to buy some presents for my friends. Would you like jewelry? Today is Mother's Day, and all the jewelry is on sale at Riches. That's great. Do you have gold jewels? Yes, we have fourteen k and eighteen k gold necklaces, chain, and earrings. May I have a look? Sure. Here is nice gold necklace. Its regular price is fifty six dollars. And now you can have it with a twenty percent discount. It's very elegant. I'll take it. All right. Is there anything else you want? Will you show me that key ring? Yes. Here you are. It's very nice. Give me ten like this. I'm sure they will be good gifts for my friends in China. Dialogue two. I want to buy some jewelry. What kind of jewelry do you like to have? I should like to look at some bracelets. May I show you gold ones or platinum ones? Gold ones. Pure gold or carats? Pure gold ones, please. Certainly, ma'am. What's the price for this one? Five hundred and fifty dollars. How about five hundred dollars? I'm sorry. We only sell at fixed prices. 
Okay, I'll take it. I want to have my initials engraved on it. Oh, that can be done. In the makeup store. Dialogue 1. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, I haven't decided which lip gloss to buy. Which color do you like? I prefer pink. How about this one? It's very moistening. But I think the pinker one would fit me better. How much is it? It's 180 yuan. Wow, that's really expensive. If you buy it this month, you could get a free handbag. Okay, I'll take it. Dialogue 2 May I help you? Do you have any foundation for summer? Yes, we have Makeup Forever Foundation, Fresh Beauty Cake. Which one do you like? What about the Dior's Foundation? The Makeup Forever Foundation is on sale this summer, and it is suitable to Asian. I recommend this one. How much is it? 380 yuan. Can you find me a match color? Yes, this one will look good on you. You can try it on. You are right. I'll take it. In the clothes store. Dialogue 1. What about these shirts? Do you see anything you like? The styles here are too boring for me. I told you, I like street shopping. Oh, come on. Don't be so sour. These are beautiful shirts. I know if we don't buy some today, you will never go shopping by yourself. Sure, I would. Here, look at this shirt. Try it on. Do they have it in large? I don't know. Let me look on the rack. Here is one large. Try it on. Where is the fitting room? I don't see it. The fitting rooms are over there. Okay, I will try it on. It looks good on you. Dialogue 2 Good morning, madam. Can I help you? Good morning. I'm looking for a new jacket. Our jackets are over here next to coats and accessories. I like this jacket. Can I try it on? Of course. The changing rooms are over there. Thanks. Does it fit? Can you find me a larger one? Sure. I'll be right back. Thanks. In the shoes and cap store. Dialogue 1. This is the cloth shoes department, isn't it? That's right. Would you like to look at some of these shoes? Yes, I want to buy a pair of black cloth shoes made in Beijing. Right. How about this pair? Look good. What size do you need? 36. Please try it on. Thank you. They are very comfortable. I'll take this pair. Dialogue 2 Look at those sandals. They are pretty. We need to buy one pair for our son. Look good. What color do you prefer? I'll choose blue. It's a good color for boys. Besides, a dark color will not show the dirt. That makes sense. What do you think of that pair for me? Which pair? The white one over there. You go and try them on. It should be good on you. You think so? Okay, I'll try. Go ahead. In the Arty Craft Store. Dialogue 1. Are you being served, sir? I'd like to buy a medium-sized cloisonne vase with a light blue background. I'm sorry, sir. They are sold out. We only have some big ones now, but we are expecting to have some tomorrow. Oh, I'm leaving China tomorrow. I don't think I have much time. Let me see. How much is the big one? 180 yuan. That sounds reasonable. Will you show me some? 
Yes, sir. How would you like this one? The background is pale blue with traditional Chinese paintings of flowers and birds. It's attractive. I'll take a pair. Can you pack the vases and send them to New York by mail for me? Yes, sir. Please write your name and address on this slip. Okay. How much should I pay then? Four hundred yuan altogether, including the postage and the charge for the packing. You know, we'll have to make a special box. Dialogue two. Shall we buy some fans? Yes. Are these all sandalwood fans? Not all of them. Some are made of Chinese little leaf boxwood with scent sprayed on. Those made of real sandalwood are much more expensive. May I take a smell of them and compare which one I like better? Yes, please. Here you are. This one smells better. I'll take this and buy a feather fan. Please show me some. Yes, this is made of wild goose feather, and this is made of skylark feather. I'll take both of them. Color preference. Dialogue one. Welcome to our shop. What do you need? A dress. Oh, we have plenty of dresses here. You can choose which one you like best. Do you have this dress, but not in black? Which color do you want? A green one in middle size would be fine. Wait a minute. Oh, you're so lucky. We only have one green dress left. Wow, that's cool. How much? Four hundred and eighty yuan, and you can have it ten percent off. Okay, I'll take it. Dialogue two. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Hello. I want to buy a pair of shoes. Which color do you want? Do you have pink shoes? Sorry, the pink shoes have been sold out. What about this white one? Uh, I prefer the blue one on that shelf. Can I have a look? Of course. Wait for a moment. You mean this one? Right. Do you have size eight? Yes. How much is it? Five hundred dollars. Okay, I'll buy it. Sizes and inches. Dialogue one. Are you being served? No. Could you show me the dress that's displayed on mannequin? Sure. Please come this way. This design comes in four colors and all sizes. May I try it on? Of course. Here is the fitting room. It doesn't fit quite right. It feels a little tight in the waist. Do you have this in a larger size? Yes, here it is. Well, how do I look in this one? You look really beautiful in it, and that looks as though it were made for you. Okay, I'll take it. Dialogue two. I'd like sports pants, but I'm not quite sure about the size. Can I take your waist measurement? Of course. I think my size is approximate thirty-eight. Can you check it? Yes, thirty-eight will be good for you. Could you give me a pair of this pattern? Sure. Wait for a moment. Would you like to try it on? Yes. What do you think? It fits you great. I think so. I'll take it. Bargaining. Dialogue one. Oh, you are lucky, sir. That model is on sale today. It's only three thousand three hundred dollars. Three thousand three hundred dollars? That is more than the other store is charging. Can you offer me a lower price? How much is the other store selling it for? Do you have proof? We always sell for the lowest price. Sure, I have an advertisement right here. See, they only charge three thousand two hundred dollars. Okay, that is a good price. 
I cannot sell for less than $3,250, but I can offer you free home delivery. The delivery is valued at $100, so buying from me would be cheaper overall. Dialogue 2 Hello, miss. How are you this morning? I am great. I am hoping to buy a new sports car today. I am so excited. I can understand. Buying a new car is a very exciting event. What brand of car are you looking for? Well, I have always bought Mercedes in the past, but I heard good things about BMW's new Z4 Roadster. Oh, that is an extremely popular selling car. As soon as we get our shipment in, they sell out. You may be in luck. We expect to receive a shipment tomorrow.